Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to talk about ranger bands, what they are, how they're used, and how to make them. Basically, ranger bands are these black bands that you see wrapped around uh, this particular knife sheath to form part of a survival kit. So it's essentially very thick rubber bands. And uh, you can see I've used them for different systems. In this case, this is my Parang Survival Sheath Kit. And also, they also use, uh, for example, you can use them to wrap up an Altoids tin, a uh, very common. And if you have a backpack or any kind of sling pouch with straps, you can put Ranger Bands in as well. And uh, that's for you to hold gear to straps. And that's really how it came about. So the Ranger Bands were used in the military. And I used them back uh, when I was in the army as well. And we would attach them to our SBO or Skeleton Battle Order. And that's basically kind of the kit, the belt kit with the uh, shoulder straps uh, that would carry. Then we would have a lot of these Ranger Bands now we didn't call them ranger bands then we just called them black bands and the black bands will be on our straps and they'll hold things like uh, bayonets uh, torch lights and other items uh, very snugly and securely uh, to our sbo and that's really how it's got adopted and uh, then used uh, in outdoor and survival gear and very common now for outdoor bushcrafters and campers etc and i have used them as you can see in many of my different systems and my different kits so those are ranger bands that's uh, what they're used for but what exactly are they and how do you make them now you can buy them from camping stores and army surplus stores but what they are you know it's actually pieces of inner tubing from a bicycle uh, tire so uh, let's open this up and then let's see if we can make some ranger bands i got this uh, bicycle tube uh, off an online marketplace probably cost i would say about eight us dollars and there's a specific size i was going for as well uh, i think in terms of a diameter i was looking for something at least two inches and yeah that's about two inches and the reason is i wanted it to go over uh, different straps uh, the Altoids tin, for example, and I, you don't want them too small because if you get one like which is one inch, uh, then it becomes too tight and you can't really use anything. So here we have uh, basically the inner tubing. Now, of course, you don't need this valve. And basically what you're going to do is take a pair of scissors and you are going to cut this up. I'm going to cut here first to remove that valve. And it's really self-explanatory. Now, in terms of a width, I would say something like half an inch would be good now because notice it's, it's curved as well. So you don't want it too thick, then it's going to be harder to uh, stretch, but you do not want it too thin as well because then it can uh, break easily. So most people would do it about half an inch. I would also do it about half an inch, which is about 12 millimeters. And you basically just cut that. See, that stretches out. It is very strong, very tough, uh, and that's why you do need a certain kind of a diameter to work with. Don't get something that's too small. Okay, let's just see how that works out if we want to use it for an Altoids tin. Let's see if this would fit. Yep, it does fit, but you can see you need that stretch. Of course, over time, it can loosen. But uh, you, you also want it tight, right? That's the purpose. So there's no way it can come out. So this was slightly wide, so it's even harder to put on. So yeah, I, I think this slightly less than half an inch would be better uh, than something thicker. But that's basically it. Uh, that's the Ranger Band. That's how you make them and that's how you use them. I hope you enjoyed the short video on Ranger Bands. Uh, let me know how you use them, if you use them any differently. Oh, I should mention, of course, Ranger Bands can be used as fire extenders. So that's why they're also in survival kits. You can burn them and they can last quite long as you build a fire. If you have any suggestions or thoughts to add, please let me know them in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.